every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up high, tell them. Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, something we've never done on this channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my bomb chicken fajita taco recipe, okay? Yes. We're gonna throw it down in the kitchen and you're coming along with me. So you guys wanna know how I make some good, really, really, really good chicken feta tacos? Then come along. Today in Soph's kitchen, we are gonna be using boneless, skinless chicken breast. You can now make chicken feta tacos without the chicken breast. You will need some tortillas. I like flour. You can also use corn, whatever you prefer. My favorite part is the seasonings. This is all the seasonings we will be using for our chicken feta tacos. Okay, this is the key to my successful and tasty tacos. You will need chili powder, accent. This one I just started using and let me tell you, mm, definitely woke up that food. Cumin, paprika, chicken bouillon, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, oregano, minced garlic. And keep in mind that after you open minced garlic, you have to put it in the fridge. I've made that mistake before. Last but not least, some olive oil. Everything else that you see here is not mandatory, but I suggest you do it because, listen, without an onion, without the bell peppers, you need some color in there. I like the different colors. You don't have to use, you don't have to use um, different colored bell peppers. You can use all one color, whatever you prefer. I just like to see a little color when I cook. Some limes, I just got two just in case, but you can also just use one. Cause we will also be using this whenever we decorate our taco when it's done. And last but not least, cilantro. Make sure you wash your cilantro, please. And everything else as well. Now, however much you use is up to you. I'd say the more the better, but hey, personal preference. Before we cut the chicken up, into little pieces. Please make sure you wash your hands and wash the chicken. I know some people think that washing the chicken does nothing, but honestly, even if it does nothing, I'd rather wash it than not wash it. So what I will do is I'll remove the excess fat. I don't like that, but if you do, you're more than welcome to keep it. And then I will cut all these chicken breasts into little pieces. Whenever you're cutting the chicken breast, think about how long you want the chicken piece to be. Or just think about how you like your chicken fajita tacos when you go to a restaurant. And try to cut it that way. Okay, now that our chicken is nice and cut, we are going to season the chicken. But before we do that, let's go ahead and prep the stove. I'm going to do medium high heat like that and let it get hot so by the time we put it in there it's gonna be cooking when it comes to seasoning the chicken i do not have a preference of what i like to put first but i do like to go ahead and put the olive oil in last and the minced garlic as well i'm gonna start with the chicken bouillon and i know you guys are gonna hate me because i used to hate this as well but season to taste okay I do not have any measurements today, but what I will say is the more you cook something, the more you know how much seasoning something needs. Next, I will go on with paprika. I like paprika because it gives it that color. Oh, it's coming out. It's not even, it's barely coming out. Don't be like that. Come on. This is barely coming out, y'all. It may look like a lot, but it's not. I like a lot of seasoning. The more seasoning, the better, if you ask me. Depending on the spice. Chili powder. Onion powder. Garlic powder. Now I'm not too heavy on the garlic powder. Because a lot of uh, a lot of these seasonings have mixed spices and I don't want to overdo one spice. Cumin. I love cumin. Mm, I definitely love 
this seasoning. Oh my god, I feel like this is what really gives it that flavor. Oh my god, I love cumin. Mm. Black pepper. I'm not gonna go too crazy in the black pepper because I don't mind black pepper, but I don't like to overdo the black pepper. Oregano. Now I'm gonna mix everything in. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the minced garlic. I'm gonna just do that. I don't, I don't wanna put too much. Now just a little bit of olive oil so we can get the juices flowing. That's good enough for me. All right, this looks pretty good to me. Let's put this on the stove. All right, as you guys can see, our pan is nice and hot. Let's put this baby in here, don't be scared. You don't wanna wait. You don't want to wait too long to move it around. As soon as you put it down, you want to start moving them around. So they all get cooked evenly. You don't want chicken sitting on top of chicken. Now real quick, I'm gonna add in some lime juice. I did forget, we were supposed to put that in with the seasoning, so I did forget, that's my fault, but mentioning it now so you don't forget. I'm gonna do a whole lime, but it's up to you how much you wanna put in there. And you guys see it's already cooking. It's cooking pretty quick. So whenever you do this recipe, you have to be proactive and move quick. And I don't think I forgot about accent. We will add this, but just later. Now as my chicken is cooking, let's go and cut up everything else we need. We're gonna start cutting up the onions and the bell peppers. I will do that off camera just because my cutting sucks, to be honest with y'all. Okay, I have my onions ready right here. I know it's not a lot. It's a half of an onion, but to me, this will do. But if you wanna add more, you're welcome to do so. So I'm gonna add that in there. Actually, I might cut up some more because that doesn't look like enough. Oh, actually, this might be fine. This might be fine. And it's okay if your cutting skills are horrible, just like me. When it comes to the kitchen, it doesn't matter. Because the flavor, listen, the flavor does not lie, okay? Who cares? Who cares if you can't cut some onions? I don't care. As long as it tastes good, I do not care. We're going to turn the heat down a little bit so we can let these onions cook. Before I start cutting up the bell peppers, we're going to add a little bit of water to give it that extra mm, taste to it, you know? Make a little... Okay. And then we're gonna make another opening somewhere over here. You don't wanna do too much water, obviously, for obvious reasons. You don't want it to be watery. We're gonna add a little bit of water for that extra tape. Mm, perfect. Perfect. Give that extra flavor. And let that cook. And remember, we turn the heat down just a little bit. And let that cook. So you don't want it to cook too fast when we add the bell peppers. And then it's going to be burnt. You don't want burnt. All right. It's been a couple of minutes. It's been cooking. Before I add the bell peppers, I just want to make sure the onions are nice and soft. 
to me they look good to go before i add the bell peppers i am gonna go ahead and use some accent so let's go ahead and put that accent in there wake up that flavor Now, if you feel like it's getting too dry, you can add more water. I'm going to leave it like this because I'm okay with how it looks right now. We have our assorted bell peppers. Let's put them in there. Yes, I know. I also suck at cutting bell peppers. Listen, like I said, to me, it's all about the taste. It's all about the taste. And look at those beautiful colors. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure you get them deep in there. In that in this pan put them in there put them all over the place so you guys can see i got more yellow than any of the other ones i think the green is the one that i got the least of. now let that continue cooking ideally right here i would say if you have a lid cover it with a lid so it can cook quicker but i don't have a lid unfortunately but i do suggest if you have a lid use it you can either leave it like this, if you don't mind the bell peppers being hard, or you can let it continue to cook. Now just make sure if you're going to do that, to put it on low, not, not low, low heat, but medium to low heat. Somewhere in the middle between medium and low heat, so it doesn't cook too fast and you burn the chicken. While that's cooking, I'm going to wash my cilantro and we're going to sprinkle a bunch of that in there. All right. Let's get, now I don't know how people cut cilantro. I honestly don't know how to cook cilantro. I just literally just grab it from the leaves and just go crazy. Oh, it's looking so beautiful. This looks so yummy. I will do a taste test because I know whenever I like to watch cooking videos, I like to see them eat it because to me it's like if you don't eat it, mm, I don't believe you ate that food even though you cooked it, I don't know. That's just me. I like to see them eat it, so no worries. I am very hungry, so I will definitely be taking a bite for you guys. I'm gonna let that continue cooking. I'm, I'm gonna stop messing with it. I'm gonna stop messing with it and just let it do its thing. Okay, you guys, it's been about a good five to six minutes, and to me, this is ready. It was ready before if you wanted to eat it with the bell peppers hard, but this is how I like mine, a little, a little soft. Now that it's good to go, we're going to go ahead and turn off the stove, and we're going to go over here where I have my tortilla heating up. You don't want to put it too hot now. You will burn the tortilla. I like to put a little bit of cheese on mine. Actually, not a little. I like to go crazy with the cheese. And I actually like to put the cheese first. That's just my personal preference. I really should have put it on, on one side, not the whole thing. But the more cheese, the better for me. If you like, you can add anything you'd like. I'm going to add cilantro to mine as well. And some lime juice. So you're welcome to, you know, put avocado in there sour cream, anything you like. I'm gonna let the cheese melt first and then I'll put the chicken. Make sure you have your spatula ready. All right, now that that's basically melted, I will grab into my chicken. I don't put too much chicken per taco because remember, we're gonna fold it. So go ahead and add more cilantro, my lime juice. Y'all see that little, that little toast? Y'all see how toasty it looks? Mm. That's what you want. You want the taco to fold and be able to stay in that position. You don't want it to be halfway tucked. You want it all the way tucked. And I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I'm tucking in everything. Tucking in everything. I might have put a little too much, but that's okay. I don't mind. My taco doesn't need to be perfect. I'm going to eat it, so I do not care. I will repeat this process and once I'm satisfied with the quantity of tacos, we will do the taste test. All right, you guys, look at how good that looks. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait. I got my Coke. Got my tacos. Ooh, y'all see that? It's the presentation. Mmm. 
I'm gonna try this one. This one looks so good. You know the food is good when you start dancing. And I don't want to make you sleepy. If the food can make you sleepy, oh, that's a 10 out of 10. That's a 10 out of 10. I did that. I did that. Now, the bell peppers are perfect. Just how I like them, perfect. Not too hard, not too soft, right in the middle. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoy cooking with me, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to keep making more cooking content for you guys. I'm not sure what I would make next. Hmm, I don't know, but I'm sure you'll find out with me. I will link all the ingredients down below so you don't always have to watch this video. You can always just go to the description box and look at all the ingredients. I love doing that, and yeah. I'm stuffed. I'm about to go take a nap. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.